In this video, we're going to focus on the get pixel for tick in the plugin for chart.js. So basically, we're going to create a plugin and we're going to use this command here. And there are multiple, and I will not go into all of them right now. I will only go in this one because you might get very confused with all of these options. However, this one will be very useful for you. So let's scroll down here right now. And so far, we already figured out how to select the position top. Uh, basically left top the width and the height and we have this nice fully colored item here however imagine you have a situation where you only want to have this part highlighted in a certain color for example if everything below this part is considered like dangerous or or below average and maybe we have another place here that we can highlight that would be like top performers so how can we do something like this in here in our plugin well let's look at it first of all we have all of this here we have this here in red so i guess this is fine we'll just maintain this one for now but what we will do is here we need to play around here to do this we're going to use these scales the x and y values and specifically here we're going to use the get pixel for tick and get for pixel for tick will grab the value per tick in this case here 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 and here for the x value and here for all of these for the y value and this is the tick so this will calculate all of these here not the ones between there's another one that does that but for this one specifically the ticks that are visible and that's useful because sometimes you have different different numbers and then the ticks will at least calculate how many ticks you have here instead of the numbers between However, let's start and explore how to do this. So we're going to say here, y pixel for ticks. And then in here, we can specify the exact tick we want. Imagine we want number two. So that will be tick number one, because it's index one. Well, this is index zero. All right. We're doing here console.log, open up the parentheses, and here closing, save this, and refresh, open up the developer and then you can see here we get this value here. Apparently, this is supposed to be this part here. Let's double check by copying this, or we can copy all of this. And we say our we're going down to the top, and the starting point would be here. So if you do this, it should go down here. Refresh, and as you can see now, it goes down here. Of course, the height itself has not been corrected. We need to correct that as well. But you can see now it went down, pushes down here. So imagine if you want another tick up, let's say to six, or so everything below six or within the range of six is a danger zone. So what we can do here is just we can calculate how many ticks we need. Zero is this is the first one. So zero, one, two, three means tick number three, or index the tick index number three, which is the fourth element of the ticks. That's the one we need. So we do this one here, and I do this here. Save that refresh there you are so now we have that and we already have the width because the width is just a full width but what we do want to do is we want to remove here this lower part here for this you need to think now how are we going to calculate this part well basically you need to understand this we have tick number three which is the starting point and we want to end it basically here in tick zero so we have to do, do some here some calculation so let's try and explore that we can probably do this one and let me see this is a tricky one i'll be honest with you what we have to do here is we have tick zero now that's the one what we need basically it's the following we're going to grab here we're going to look first at all of the differences here with these two here we're going to grab this put it in here when we make this zero so we have the two ticks and what we see then is the following here. We see here we have 234, which is the starting point of the tick. And then it goes down all to here, which would be 300 or uh, 300 plus. Oh, well, am I correct? No. Sorry, this one is should be this one here. So that would mean this equals that. All right. So I'm going to do some calculation here. So I hope you pay attention here. This is a tricky one. Then you're going to grab this one here. And that will be equal to this. All right. So what we really need is the length. The length would mean I need to deduct this one from the tick here. Meaning if we do this, let's do that one. Console.log. 
we're going to say because this one is a longer one the reason why this is longer is because it starts lower here because up is zero and the more down is going up to 350 pixels if I'm not mistaken yes that's the height so you can see here once it goes down this one here should be 321 and then it would be about 26 or let's say 29 pixels extra space here for the bottom all right so that's what we're going to do here so basically here we get the max value which is the zero so that's just why you're basically calculating in the opposite direction with the ticks so don't get confused here this is a really tricky one because for me it's sometimes i also get confused so we're going to grab this here and oh sorry we need to grab this one here put this in here and let's see what's the value here so then i refresh you can see here now if you click here on the console log we get a difference of 60 for 86.88 so basically this is the number meaning the following we get the highest number which is zero then we deduct it from this that will be the formula eventually so we say this minus 86 point plus plus equals the exact value that we need that will be eventually the length as well for our item here so we can calculate how much this will be well we can copy this once we copy this we have the exact height here put it in here save that refresh and there you are as you can see this can be slightly tricky because you have to calculate it in the opposite direction because the canvas starts here up at zero all right so now we have done this one and i hope this was not too hard but if it was don't worry let's try another one let's try the upper one here let's say here if we hit everything from 20 up till 14 or from 14 up to 20 we'll make this green meaning that we have a top performer all right to do this what we need to do here first is we have to add up here another item so what i'm going to do here i'm going to give this a new uh, value basically here a proper color let's say here um, option i'll just say this will be danger zone or background color danger all right copy this and then we put it in here so we save that here and refresh nothing changes as you can see it's exactly the same except that we have adjusted here this so the next thing what we need to do is we have to create another fill style so let's put it down here we're going to create another fill style i'm going to delete all of this here for now because it will be too messy and then what we're going to do here is another fill style and this fill style will do exactly the opposite so we need to start where exactly so first of all i wonder if this will work or else we need to probably give it a specific value but we can double check that we say here success copy this then we say here success and this will be a green color so i'm going to put it on zero and then i'll put this on 255 save that but we're not done yet because we need to position it correctly so what i'm going to do just for simplicity's sake i'm going to put in here value let's say here uh six and this will be um i guess six as well and this will be five i'm just trying here something just to see if we can start to see it all right we've got something here but not in the way we desire it all right so that's what we need to solve i guess i just make it in the opposite direction here which is fine let's put this back sorry we make this here six and five save that and this will be i guess six as well let's see there we are all right so what we're going to do now you're going to push it up to the top to understand this is zero so we have zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tick number 10 that's a starting point so we say here tick number 10 and this will be tick number 10 save that refresh all right we're moving up here and then you can see here what's going on tick number 10 equals this all right so what we have to do here is exactly the opposite we must have the highest value here tick number 10 is the closest to the top here as you can see that's not what we want so we need to move this one basically down here 
and most likely this will be tick number seven let's try that save that refresh and there you are so now we have a success zone here and here we have our danger zone and we can see which color or which performance team is succeeding and that's basically how you can do it and with this you can create of course a lot more stuff but this is one of them working with the x value of the y value here and the reason why we're working with the y value here because we have the scales here this will pinpoint the ticks here if you would change this and maybe you say well what about if we do the x value let's play one for the x value all right so i'm going to grab this one here and because this is a bar chart the x value or the tick of the x value is here as you can see it's just in the center so let's change here the red we're going to make here the left I'm going to say here X and then we put in here tick number three save that refresh and you can see here I guess this was the success color what is happening here we move it here now you can see tick number three is zero one two three green that's correct then here it's halfway through because it's in the center here so this is how you can play with positioning using the get pixel for tick on the Y and on the X axis to do this, of course, make sure you activate the scale here, X and Y. Very, very important to remember. All right. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.